This is the Apple Vision Pro, and a lot of people have been asking, what's the point of the Apple Vision Pro? Why is it here? What are you gonna do with it? And today, we're gonna be talking about how the Apple Vision Pro is being used to transform the medical field. So one of the stories about the Vision Pro that you may or may not have heard about is the fact that the Vision Pro was used during a spinal procedure on a patient in the UK. However, it's not exactly what you think. The main thing that was going on with the Vision Pro was that it was being used by a scrub nurse. Now, if you guys don't know what a scrub nurse is, honestly, I didn't know what, what a scrub nurse was until I started doing this video. A scrub nurse basically assists with the surgery. So as far as grabbing the right tools and going through steps and procedures and all that stuff, they are helping the main surgeon and everybody else out through the surgery. I'm sorry, that is a very basic definition. Surgeons don't kill me in the comments. And part of that procedure with the Vision Pro is that the Vision Pro had an app that was developed and created to where it could basically have you go step by step and it could physically recognize tools and highlight them and kind of go through like this checklist that you would go off of every single time you would grab the tool, hand the tool and move on to the next step. One of the key details of the article says here, only one member of the team, a scrub nurse wore the goggles as she helped prepare, keep track of the process and choose the right tools. The device allowed them to see the real world with virtual screens highlighting important information. Quote, it eliminates human error. It eliminates the guesswork, said Suvi Vero, lead scrub nurse at London Independent Hospital. And honestly, when you're doing surgery, you don't want any hiccups. You don't want any mess ups. This is probably going to be one of the things that helps reduce, you know, malpractice suits or anything like that. But I'm seeing nothing but benefits from this as far as just how this is going to change things. The other way that the Vision Pro is being used in the medical field involves training. Now, back at the beginning of the video, you did see some clips of you know, somebody's hands moving around using the different apps. And guess what? That was me. I actually went ahead into the Apple Vision Pro's app store and started downloading the apps and start playing around with them and using different things. And even though I had no medical training whatsoever, I was actually able to manipulate things and start to figure out my way around stuff. The fact that you could have MRI scans and other types of you know, CT scans, and whatnot, show up on the screen. You can see a 3D model and you could rotate things around. Even the fact that you had little mixed reality AR tools that showed up on your hand and you were able to select different things. Those are cool. Now, mind you, what I tried out were mostly demos, but it gives you a very good grasp of how things are going to look, you know, as far as implementation and using these in the real world or whatnot and i could only imagine how much further a licensed trained doctor medical professional could actually take these tools and use them even better beyond what i could do now the other part of the training was there was actually i believe a blood uh something machine i'm gonna be honest i can't remember what it was but there was an app i downloaded it and it literally told me step by step by step what to turn on what to put in and how to go through it and i'm like yes that is cool that is awesome that helps eliminate a lot of the guesswork so that is one of the things that we're seeing as far as medical technology combining with the vision pro and how people are using this and making it more part of the field the other interesting thing is the fact that you would be able to take the vision pro and record the process of things that are going on so you know along with training this is stuff that could be watched by students by other colleagues for training learning education things that matter remedial training i know i'm saying training too much but it, it's really coming to mind how 
much this could really benefit people from a learning perspective. I think one of the things about the Vision Pro that kind of got glossed over was everybody just thought it was just, hey, it's just a VR headset. You're not going to use it for anything else. It's going to sit on the shelf. But if you actually take this thing and use it for things and apply it to education, you can actually go a lot further with this. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room as far as the Vision Pro, because everything is not always sunshine and roses. There are going to be a couple of things that, you know, some people are probably going to have to overcome. The first thing is going to be the weight. Some people, the weight is good and they don't mind it. For other people, the weight is kind of bad and it might cause some issues. The second thing that you're going to have to overcome is the battery life. Now, you're going to get anywhere between two, two and a half hours of battery life, but we see uh, different surgeries and operations go on that could be eight hours, 10 hours, 12 hours. So obviously you're going to need to have to plug that thing in and charge it up, have multiple battery packs or have a backup battery on hand that you can use with it. So honestly, this is going to be one of those things that I think that um, hospitals, they're just going to invest into it. They have so much money that they spend on equipment that pales in comparison to the price of a Vision Pro. So I believe that they will be fully set up to pretty much knock out any operation that they would need to knock out. Now, a couple of the concerns that some people uh, could bring up is the fact that, well, hey, since there's no guest profiles, how are you going to share a Vision Pro? Honestly, I believe that pretty much everybody's gonna get their own Vision Pro inside of that medical wing or whatnot. And they're gonna be assigned, they're gonna be labeled, and only that person's gonna use that Vision Pro. I don't think there's gonna be any swapping in and out of Vision Pros because you're gonna have, you know, different fits and, you know, different sizes and stuff like that. You're gonna have some people that prefer either a solo loop, prefer the dual loop. So, yeah, that's how I think they kind of solve that problem. And in one of the videos, you could actually see little tags on the side of the Vision Pro that kind of indicated the different Vision Pros between different users. One thing that I continue to think about is back at WWDC, back when the Vision Pro was announced and we were all wondering what's gonna happen to it? Is it gonna be something that actually works out? What are we gonna do with this? And now that we're here, I can completely see where Tim Cook was going with this. All the stuff that he was saying about it. And for those of you who forgot, Here's what he said. It's the most advanced piece of electronics equipment out there. It's tomorrow's engineering today. So you're going to live in the future and you're gonna do it today. The engineering and depth of engineering in it is mind blowing. You've got more than a 4K experience in each eye. And of course, it doesn't come for free. It, it costs something to do that. But I think it's a great value.